I'm your dungeon master, I'm your guide, I'm your travel companion on this fun little journey. I mean, I'm not the best at being subtle about it. Trying is all we can do. I do not do stealth. I do not do it. Kind of specialize in not being found. Welcome to Help Hits Experience, the safety lock on all medicine bottles. I'm your DM, Brittany Lee, and welcome what? to the show. <laughs> welcome back. We are about to jump back into what we were doing before, which is playing D&D in space. Only this time, we have Robin back. Hooray, Robin's Yay! Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Yay! You looked back. really different last week. Yeah, yeah. you looked really, really different. Yeah, very specific sometimes. different. Okay, uh, a couple things before we get started. Just a reminder, if you're chatting in the Twitch or in the Discord or both, you get to gain audience points, and those can be redeemed for fun things. Um, we've got some stuff on the table, so don't forget there's a wild card point on the table, as well as Liz, you have an additional plus one at any point to use. Um, those are in a pool until you decide to use them. Uh, anyone else have anything to say? Nope. Ooh. Nope. Not Great. Good. We've never had any thoughts ever. And uh, no thoughts had empty. Stream starts. Exit stream. <laughs> we begin. share one brain cell. We're just cell. so excited to play that we don't want anything to get in the way. Yeah, Correct. that's true. We share one brain cell with the chat. I missed a week. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, Perfect. <laughs> so, uh, before we get started, let's uh, let's do a little recap here. So I will give one inspiration token to whoever wants to recap. We can go back a couple games if we'd like. I'd like to kind of give an idea of where we are, what we're doing, and why we're doing it. I'll do it. Great. But I mean, I already have a token, so do you want me to do it? <laughs> I what? Anybody else can jump on quicker. I also already have a token. If Same. We should we should use these more. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Liz, I do you have a token? You Would you like to try? Have them. Um, you did our commercial, so we know you're pretty good at this. <laughs> uh, whew, two sessions ago. Um, hmm. I don't know if my brain yeah. goes back that far. Well, then maybe Ian, you should do it. Hey, yeah. hey again, everybody. I'm back due to uh, default. Um, so uh, a couple sessions ago, uh, we took a job by the Red Talons, which were a group that had previously shown up within the world, although not beknownst to the ether bastards. You should totally go watch some of our one shots. Mm -hmm. um, they had their crew pretty much decimated and destroyed and their captain was captured by the strange mysterious individuals that we totally don't know who they are. Um, as this happened, uh, the Red Talon decided to contact us and ask us if we can help them get their captain back from a, I was gonna say supermax prison. I don't know <laughs> what kind of prison. It's an underwater fortress basically. Yeah. Uh, so we went to the planet where that was on. There was a city that was there, which we went into to gear up and get ready. We went into a magic shop and were totally, totally super suspicious, but we didn't get arrested, so it's fine. And then we decided to split the party briefly so that Flux and Pearl, who can breathe underwater, or Flux who can breathe underwater and Pearl who can just be underwater. Um, Pearl who doesn't breathe. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so that we could go scout and figure out if there was a way that we could get in because we are trying to get in based off of a uh, regular schedule where there's one sort of supply truck that comes in and out on like a four day cycle or something like that. It's the uh, transport for the staff. Yes, yes. So yeah. we're trying to find out when that comes in so we can use that to get in. Yes. And then we're gonna maybe open up some other doors and let people in other directions and it should be a good time probably maybe. Yes. Uh, so we did that. Pearl and Flux had a heart to heart at the bottom of the ocean. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> sort of. And so. meanwhile, Hieronymus and Cyrus went and gambled a whole bunch. And there was a whole thing that you should totally go watch on last week's pod. And uh, then we're back to now. Also, there's a new robot. His name is Sprocket. He has a TV face. He's here now. <laughs> I got the wrong one. <laughs> they adopted him. It's, we didn't have any choice in that, technically, probably. Yeah, there's no choice whatsoever. All right. Free will is an illusion. Uh, exactly. That's what I'm learning. Um, okay. So you mentioned uh, party split. We're still at a party split. Yep. Mm -hmm. here, here we are. They just left the casino. Mm -hmm. we're, split, we're at the bottom of the ocean. Split among the party. Um... Does that mean Cyrus still has his disguise on? Yes, Hell Cyrus yeah. is still disguised. I love your biker disguise. As a <laughs> still disguised as a biker who is bald and has With mutton chops. chops. Yes, very important. Hieronymus, 
what what is what how do you look because i know last time you did like a gnarly voice but you didn't really tell me what you looked like. yeah i think that uh after checking out the place uh hieronymus uh made himself look like the kind of person who would be hanging out with a bald-headed biker with mutton chops <laughs> so somebody having a midlife crisis yes. <laughs> okay but an alien so give yeah. me give me one alien descriptor uh antenna eyes fins neck frills something green why green. would I know you would say green? <laughs> because you are psychic. It's the artist in me. I mm -hmm. just knew. I green. was like, this green. sucker's green. What's well, as far as you can get from purple without actually being yellow? I'm, I don't Not know if I've got colors to dispute this. Not wrong. No, <laughs> that's <laughs> correct. Actually. Oh, okay, great. Okay, I, I went to art school, so okay. yeah. That's yeah, you're correct. probably an expert. Yeah, I'm an expert <laughs> in color theory. That's the one class I really was good at. Um, okay, so we're going to start on this side of the table. Cyrus, Hieronymus, Sprocket, Schmel, you're all hustling away mm -hmm. from the chaos that you caused, trying to make your way back to the beach, yes. right? We're trying to get back to where we're going. As you're hustling along, suddenly a uh, neon hover sign comes like right in front of your face. Now, normally these neon hover signs just kind of hover around, try to catch your attention. This one comes right, whoop, in front of you, uh, and it reads, uh, Rena's all-seeing eye becomes level with you. Um, and as this uh, happens, you you hear a voice who uh, says, Oh, bonjour. Oh, I'm so sweet, Desolé. I'm so sorry. This sign, it's, uh, I, it, I got it second hand, and it, uh, very much likes when I have a custom is. And you see a one-eyed uh, individual. She's got leaf-like scales uh, across her body and a large floral uh, neck frill and very short cropped hair that looks like little small flower blooms. Um, and uh, she motions to the sign and it comes back over to her. And uh, she goes, it just gives it something to do. Uh, you wouldn't happen to want your foot in red, would you? Well, um, I mean, Damn. we have, we have, I guess, some time left, hopefully. Probably a couple of days, man, if they're potentially going to be underwater for a while. Sure, why not? <laughs> come, come, come. Uh, come in here and sit on the, uh, I've got some throw cushions, and, uh, she leads you into, like, her little side, little, in the alley, a little area. Uh, it's very warmly lit. There are, everything is little floating, little neon floating lanterns, and there's, it's a very, it smells amazing, like, lavender in here. Um, and, uh, you sit down. And uh, you sit a, like a on your on the floor cushions in front of like a nice little draped table, um, and she uh, says, oh, "All you have to do is pick the cut." Uh, so uh, when was uh, the me? And so she like starts to shuffle them because I am stupid, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> I forgot there was a thing. Um, do, who who is first? In, in, de, toi, two. As to say, and she pulls it out and uh, holds it and uh, holds it to her, her little eye and goes, uh, Ah, a dream you have will come too. I do not know what dreams you have, but the cards are telling me dreams you have will come true. Um, all, all righty. Not sure how many dreams I have, but... <laughs> Perhaps it is just a dream. Perhaps it, you only have one and dream, and it is coming true. And it seems that it is... It is okay. It is the, it's okay. It, it could, could be better, but it's a, it's a dream come true. Well, not like that come true. Just it's coming true. Okay. Okay, um, any <laughs> more specific? I'm uh, glad you got that one and not me, man, because I've been dreaming about space werewolves lately. You do not need those right now, that is Whew. for sure. That could be a nightmare. That is not a dream. That is nightmare. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
and she looks around and she lights a candle and kind of shuffles around a little bit and uh, closes her eyes and goes, it is, uh, you have ambitions about going somewhere else, some place big? Um, well, that's not in entirely inaccurate, no. Then I think that that is uh, part of the dream. I think it uh, come true in a way that uh, worked for you. I think. I, I, listen, the cards <laughs> just tell me these things and then I go from there. I don't know what else to tell you. Okay. Um, the dream will come true in a way. In a way. It, let me say, sometimes the fortunes are good. Sometimes the fortunes are uh, and sometimes not good at all. They're not, they're not worth even looking at. But this one, yeah, yeah. This is good because we could be bad. Okay, fair, uh, fair enough. Uh. Okay, <laughs> well, you do not like my, I, then I will not judge you. I, you do not like the fortune. The fortune, you take it, throw it away. Oop, throw it at you. <laughs> Désolé. <laughs> Alrighty. Fortune came and landed like right on you, man. <laughs> I think that means it's coming true. <laughs> well, hopefully it comes true in a better way than a worse way. Yeah, it's, it, it comes true. It's, uh, it, it will be okay. Uh, okay. Ne ne next, next one. Un, de, toi. Sprocket. I think Sprocket definitely should go next, man. <laughs> no, the cards are talking to you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see what Sprocket's future holds. I, can, on the I can read the, the robot future next, and I will say that the programming. It will continue. That is what I know about droids. The right. next thing is happens is a couple ones and zeros, and then we are good. Sure, sure. Okay, so, yeah. Une de toi. Uh, let's go with. Uh, let's go with number uh, toi. Toi. Bonsoir. Ah. That's du. You said un du toi. Oh, toi. I don't know my numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my own language. It's not my job to do math. <laughs> I don't know things. I yeah. just listen to the cards. I flunked space French. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, actually. This is not the French accent. This is something else entirely. Uh, oh! This is uh, that uh, the card is telling me that uh, wealth will await you very soon. Very soon. Mm. You will get a big amount of money, and you will have it, and there you go. All right. I do not know how much. The cards do not tell me that much. This is wealth. It's big. It is going to be good for you. Good big wealth for me, man. Woo. All yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she looks around, and Schmel is hovering outside the door. <laughs> Sprocket is behind Schmel. Um, and uh, when she points to Schmel, Schmel like shakes his head. Um, he goes, No, I uh good actually. I don't um I don't know if I'll remember it anyway, so like oh, good. We're good. We're good. Good. You you sure? I need a glass of water. It's fine. Right. Does, is, does the for, are the fortunes telling me that I'll get water? Because that'd be great. I I do not know. <laughs> oh, you're not the fortune teller. No. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, and uh, Rena actually gets up and offers him a glass of water, and Sir Smile gets a lovely glass of water that he spills half of it on his shirt. Um, oh. <laughs> that's just what happens. Poor Smile. He's fine. He's simultaneously drunk and poisoned, probably. Yeah, he's pretty poisoned. <laughs> um, and uh, Rena turns to you, uh, Hieronymus, and says, uh, my cost is only what you fear the value of a name no longer spoken is. Uh, come again? This is only the cost I ask. 
cast of a name no longer spoken. What do you feel the value is? Uh, um, Cyrus, would you step outside and check on uh, Schmel there for a second? I, uh, <laughs> he looks a little green around the gills here. <laughs> Alrighty. No, I'm good. I'm so good. I just walk out and be like, hey, j- let's just. I'm good. Well, well let's no, go and. I'm good. We'll, I'm good. We'll get you some fresh <laughs> air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, one eye lady, what are you talking about? Sometimes when there is something that you need to give up or something that you know someone else needs to give up, you place a value on it. And that is what I ask. You're being cryptic and uh, I don't really like cryptic so much. I'll tell you what, you're running a good little scam here. I mean, I've, uh, I've, I've seen this racket before, you know, doing the cold read, you know, and promising vague things. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. Everybody's got to earn a living, right? So, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to, I'm going to throw you down a couple of trites here for, for putting on a good show, a good, a good act, right? You're doing, you're doing good, uh, a good job here. You know, I mean, we're not a couple of tourist marks that you're going to fleece. I'm on to what you're about, but any, uh, you're going to pull out, say, 20 trites. And you're going to clink them, clink them. Mm-hmm. said, I'm just going to set that right there and slide that over to you there, which I think is a pretty good uh, tip for, uh, for what you normally do here. Doesn't that seem about, uh, about in keeping with your, your normal rates? Uh, she looks at you, and uh, there's an understanding, I think, um, for a minute. And kind of motions for you to, you know, you can get up and leave. Do you get up and leave? Uh, Hieronymus gets up and he starts to walk towards the door. Mm-hmm. Um, Before you get past her, mm-hmm. she grabs your arm and you see her eye, her one singular eye is now rotating binary Ooh. code. You can't see her iris anymore. Ooh. It's Ooh. gone. And she doesn't look at you, you straight ahead. And she says, the time of pawns has arrived. They will be hollowed out and made to service. Do not be disheartened, a hollowing is unpredictable and those who make the rules do not control the outcomes. Have faith that if the alterings are stopped before it reaches the masses, the foundation comes tumbling down. And then the binary releases from her eye and uh, she takes her hand off your arm, goes, I will not be seeing you again, I am sure. Okay, well, you have a splendid day there, little uh, <laughs> fortune teller person. <laughs> yeah, good, good uh, goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, um, whew. What All the right. fuck? <laughs> okay, well, that's, uh, that's cool. I took care of everybody's uh, Bill here. Uh, uh, thank, thanks for that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was weird. That was weird. Um, anyway. Uh, so what did your fortune say? Said I'm gonna be making all oh, buku dinero, Schmel. Oh, That's why I didn't mind paying extra for is that. Is that why we're going to the secret prison? It, well. No. Let's not talk about that too loud okay. because you never know who might be listening. <laughs> That's true. I mean, we don't know. We don't know. No, man. So, okay. So anyways, uh, let's head back down to the beach. See if, uh, if there's been any kind of intel. Maybe, uh, who knows? Maybe uh, our other two friends may have resurfaced from the ocean. Alrighty. So the two, well, the four of you uh, continue to head outside of the city. So we're going to smash cut into the ocean. Back to the ocean. It's time for the ocean. Um, it's been two weeks of uncomfortable silence. <laughs> <laughs> Under the ocean. Um, okay. Flux Pearl, the last time we talked about you being under the ocean, you were settling in to watch the pl- docking platform that you yep. found. Um and it's been it's been a minute. Uh, roll me a perception. I'm 
Oh, bad at those. I gotta see what my you're under the water. You you should be good at this. I I like oh, yeah, I liked playing last week when I had glasses. decent perception. Oh, actually, seventeen. Mm, well, the unless dice I, no. Unless I have a minus one still, because I don't. Do the, does the water count as my glasses or no? no? You took them then off. No, sixteen. Still better than normal. <laughs> we got a nine. Oh, Pearl, are you not made for underwater viewing? Uh, no, dark. she's just trying to clean <laughs> the it's ocean. Obvi- yeah, it's obviously not going great. If we're at the bottom of the ocean, by the way, it's like pitch black, right? It's dark enough that you can't see very far. Okay, because I have dark vision, but you don't, right? Right. <laughs> okay, so that it's makes not sense. Dar- it's not dark vision dark, It's but it's pretty dark. Okay, cool. Good to know. I just got like an arm full of like rocks, like litter. Like, oh. pe- like, people are throwing, like, cans and shit in the ocean. Is like, litter? Gosh. <laughs> this planet has do. litter? Great. Um, so. They're going to have plastic straws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Save the space turtles. Bunch of fishing nets everywhere. Anyways, continue. <laughs> Flux. Because you rolled a 16. Um, you. <laughs> describe to me what what's going through your mind as you're sitting there watching this platform. I mean, I'm, I think, I don't, how long have we been down here? That's kind of important. Mm, good question. How long you want to be down here? Because that's not a good number. Um, how long, I mean, how, how long is your patience? We're, <laughs> it's not long. Um, but I was spending some time looking. I was trying to see if I could like access the prison uh, electronic system from the outside. Right. So we were, I was trying to see if I could get any sort of signals or anything. And if I can't, then we're probably just waiting there for like eight hours or something. Okay. We're not going to say eight. Uh, let's just say one. Sure. You sat there for an hour. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like leaning on a rock. Nothing's really happened. You had your conversation and that was kind of it. Nothing's really happened. Um, but Flux, your focus is on this platform, this sitting platform. And I don't know specifically how you go about engaging with the magical world, but at some point something changes in your perception. And you can see that there is a line of magical energy that flows from the platform in either direction, just a straight line. It's really subtle, it's not glowing, it's hard to see. So it, I think the sitting and the just observing kind of kicks that perception on for you. Um, it's all the see. dust I'm kicking up from trying to clean. <laughs> like a laser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Pearl, do you, hmm? do you see that thing right over there? It's, it's like that really thin line. I'm just going to like tilt your head a little bit, <laughs> point you in the right direction. It's, Would I be able to see it? It's coming it? from the platform. You rolled a nine? Uh, I don't no. see shit. It's really, really thin. What, what is it? I'm not sure. I, I mean, I think it's some sort of magic effect. If I had to guess, just throwing it out there, uh, if it's a line connecting the different platforms, it would probably be some sort of rail system, maybe? Something that something travels along? It's my best theory, at least. Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> I have detect magic, but I don't know if it'll help us. Go for it. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna get a little more like underneath Roof? where that thing yeah. is. I'm moving that direction. Yeah. There, there's I'm, no like guards or drones or anything out here, right? It's just it's just a platform like in the middle of the ocean. Right, right. Like, right. you know, here's the bottom. I love a visual reference. It's here's just like a big disc, right? It's a big disc. It just looks like this. Okay. Pretty thick. Um I'll follow Flux so I know where we're going and yeah. then once we get to the line I'll cast detect detect magic. Okay. Great. Right. Uh hmm. it should be right above us right now. Okay. Can you see it yet? No, but you said it's here, so Well, yeah. And that just goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um it takes a minute and then Pearl you touch it. You actually like oh, shit. touch the line because you're so close. Well, wow, that was a lot closer to the ground than I thought it was. <laughs> well, you're you're swimming in the water, so you can reach it, and you and are you? <laughs> you feel the you feel the magical pulse through it. It because you're a droid, right? You're not gonna get 
electrified or anything. So you right. feel it. You feel that magic running through in either direction, like a z z z z, z as it goes through. So you can tell it's it's exactly what Flux said. Both directions, straight line, Rail very system. thin. Yeah. We get into motioning territory, and I can't. <laughs> so if this is a rail system, and it's always here, couldn't we follow it theoretically back to the source of wherever it comes from? I assume so. Most likely, the actual dock for where these things come from is probably less reinforced than the actual prison itself, right? So maybe we can get there before they actually need to use it. Pearl is staring at you blankly. Because this is not her MO. She's just like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you all right? Oh, I just don't know what we were doing. We're breaking into a prison. Right now? No, 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 no. We're, we're figuring out how to break into the prison. Okay. We're trying to use so the rails. So we're following that line? Yes. Right yes, now? Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Because I'm super <laughs> bored. I don't have anything else to do, and is all it, of my things are back on the ship. <laughs> is it safe? Well, there's only one way to find out. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> I have a lot of bad ideas. Yeah, yes, you do. You do. Um, well, so if we know the other prisons go that way, then maybe we should follow it back to the source, yeah? Is that... So the it's the direction you came from. Mm -hmm. It One line goes back. Right. And then the forward is the other direction. Yep. So, so. It, which, to your knowledge, is closer to the prison. Okay. Forward. So if you go backwards, you're going to go back up on shore. Right, but we're trying to find the shuttle they're using to get in. Mm -hmm. So going back out of the shore would probably actually be good then, because that's probably the docking point. You didn't see a platform when you came when you were on the beach. No, but I also didn't see the line. <laughs> okay. But DM, since you're clearly trying to hit something at me, do you want me to roll an intelligence check to see if I can figure some shit out? Sure, <laughs> roll me an intelligence check. I'm good at improv. I'll yes, and uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Intelligence tells you to go forward. <laughs> right, Great. go straight towards the prison. Yeah, okay, let me remind you. <laughs> let me remind you, this docking platform said one of five. Right. So there are five other docking platforms before you get to the prison. Right, so, oh. Oh, so these are a series of... So if I'm getting this correctly, people go to these individual platforms to then be shuttled to the prison. No, it's a, it's a waypoint. It's a like a stop for the magic to kind of be collected to then send it forward again, like a pulley system. Right, but wouldn't the shuttle have to come from somewhere sure. else? Yes, <laughs> it would have to come from somewhere else, but people aren't swimming to get onto the shuttle. Well, in theory, they could, I guess. Right. I'm probably missing something. Yes. Yeah, I'm also very let, confused. Okay, let me, let's, let me clarify. So there are, as far as you can, Suss out, five of these platforms. Right, five discs. Five discs, and there's a magical line going back towards shore and forward towards the prison. Right. And the intelligence roll made you infer that the shuttle will go along the magical line and kind of pull up another charge on each platform. Yes, this is correct. Yes, there is no shuttle currently at one, there was no shuttle on the beach. Right, so I believe it's probably at the prison already. Potentially at the prison. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You can do with that information as you will. Right. So I have two thoughts. The okay. one is the original idea I had, because eventually the shuttle has to go back on the shore where people get on it, and then we just take it from them if we have time to wait for that. The second, which is probably a little more immediate, is that the uh, shuttle is most likely at one of these docking bays already? So if we can break into one of these specifically, we might be able to access it sooner, which would get us into the prison sooner. Or we just wait for it to open for whatever reason, because these are not reinforced like the prisons are. Isn't it very dangerous to try and take one ourselves? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'm just here to figure out what the best way to do it before we bring all of our friends to do it. Okay, um, then maybe we should see where exactly this leads right. at the prison and just go from there. Yeah, I can get along with that idea. 
We just, uh, we should probably stay pretty close to the ground. Oh, yes. I yes. don't trust that there's not going to be some sort of swimming units out here or something mm -hmm. like that, so let's be careful. So we're going to start walking along the discs. We're going towards down oh. the rail line. Okay, so you're swimming along the rail line because yep. the rail line connects the discs. Um, you swim like this. This is how we swim. Flex does a thing where he swims a good way and then stops because he's faster. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Everybody do their swimming motion. Yeah. Get this all out of our system. Um, you get to the platform form marked three of five, and sitting on top of it is a rail car. Huh. You see it. You see the platform inscription. You see the rail car. You're underneath it, I guess. Um, and you can see when you look closer with your detect magic, that a lot of the magical energy is kind of pulling into the rail car to charge it up. Recharging, mm -hmm. right, right. Um, is there anybody else on this platform right now? Roll me a perception. What? What? What is happening? Oh my god, 18. We're talking about under the water? I, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your underwater eyes see all. Apparently. It's really weird, though. The dice know. <laughs> the dice... Apparently, they are I very good at three. Ah, the dice know. The dice <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the area of ocean you're in is so barren of almost everything. I was gonna ask if there's things we were swimming past. You're not swimming past creatures. You're not. There's not a ton of plant Sus. life. It's dark. It's cold. It's gross, apparently full of litter. <laughs> I don't know if it's worse to be in an empty, endless ocean or a full one. <laughs> Both are terrifying. I mean, I could make some seaweed grab your ankle if you wanted to get spooked. I mean, we're not on the ground. No, so. you're not on the ground. Um, and there's nobody on the platform. There's no one in the shuttle car that you can see. The shuttle car only has like the emergency lighting on, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, it's just a little box. It's a little box that can fit um, potentially up to like 12 people in it. Um, and it's the most basic box. There's very little frills to it. Uh, it has a door that opens and closes. It's got a panel on the one side and it just is absorbing the magical energy right now. That's weird. I would have assumed there'd at least be somebody coming back from it or going towards it right now. That is strange. But as far as I can see, and to be fair, my vision isn't amazing, I can't see anybody here. I'm just gonna like peek my head over the side of the platform. The emergency like, lights are on? They are. Well, the, <laughs> the, the lights that are on when the thing is off are on. You know, like a- The backup ones. Security lights. Yeah, the ones that happen okay. when the power goes out. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Not, it's, yeah, the, it's let me like clarify, it's not like something exploded and happened and it's- Everybody's <laughs> e pieces e everywhere. Yeah, it's just like sitting there. Right, right. Do you think it's possible to take it? Uh, I, getting it off the rail would be pretty difficult. I mean, are you assuming we're just gonna take it to the prison? Because we could do that. I figured we'd take it from the prison, grab our friends, and then come back with it. Wait, you want me to take the rail car off the rail and then just, like, bring it back? Yeah, like as if it, we, we were meant to be here. I don't think Is that I can, a bad idea? I don't think I can do that. Because the second I take it off the rail, it's not going to go anywhere anymore. <laughs> well, you just... You, you I mean, I could send it back down the rail yeah. the way we came. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Is that... Yeah, but it's not done charging. Why design a car that can only make it from one stop to the next? If I had to guess, it's so that they have a lot of time to figure out if something's going wrong on the way. Mm. You got prisoners, you need to make sure they get there safely, and then you realize halfway through that there's actually some traitor aboard the, the whole shuttle, right? Something goes wrong, somebody dies, and then way down the line they get a signal. But this also means that having a rail car taking a rail car for us to get inside isn't very feasible, since it would take who knows how long between each station. I might be able to rig something up to make a charge faster. It'd just take a little bit. Yeah, and that's not time that we have. Pearl and Flux, roll me perception again. Fuck. 
Now I'm not gonna do well. Or investigation, whatever, either one. Well, hold on. What do I got for I'll investigation? Take investigation. Hold on. Yeah, investigation. Hold on. Twelve. Check. Okay. Uh, My investigation uh, is maybe, so maybe, much maybe. better. <laughs> Ooh, that is a 21. Oh my god. Okay, great. So, you Pearl, them thinking bones. You are you looking around, right? You you don't know anything about rail cars. You shut your but... mouth. But <laughs> not you, Ian. Anyways. Uh... uh you you don't know anything about rail cars, right? This right. is all new to you. But you do have keen observation, right? You are aware of when things change. Mm -hmm. So, you were underneath the platform and now you're on top of the platform and you notice that the platform is slightly different than the other two that you passed. It looks bulkier, there's more to it, um, and you can see with your detect magic that a lot of the magic is being stored in the bulkier sections. Oh. So perhaps this platform is a, not necessarily everything is a stop point, perhaps this one is just the charging point. Mm. Right, so the whole thing's like a massive underwater bridge. And this is the halfway point where the train gets charged up. From what you're saying, that seems to make I sense. I mean, it's what I think. I don't know if it's correct. I mean, it makes, the, makes sense. The, the, the guy that does the stuff. I don't know what the right term is. I think. What is your occupation? Engineer slash technician? Yeah, you're that guy. Well, I mean. As long as it's being acknowledged. Um, I would like to point out that I still have all the trash in two of my forearms. Oh, great. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Good. I'm still hanging on to it tight. You gonna, mm. you gonna do something with that? Or? Well, there's no garbage bin in the bottom of the ocean. Right. There's also not anything else in the ocean. I don't think any creatures are eating the trash and dying it's or something. It's not good for the environment. You know what? I'm not gonna push it. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, can I try to figure out how long this train's gonna take to charge? Yeah. I don't know what I have to roll for that, but I'm um, gonna go check some gauges and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yes, the platform itself, all the way underneath, will have gauges and things, so you're not necessarily touching the car. Right. You're just underneath it. Um, and... Uh, go ahead and investigation, I think, makes the most sense here. 24. Hey, I told you I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah, it's you like rolled the, a 12 before that. That's like the one thing I'm good at. So the magical valves that allow the magic to come in and siphon through in a way that refines it so that it can be then outputted in a way that is efficient transportation. Um, you're going to make a guess because there's not a gauge on it. It's just a matter of like, if someone was to come by and try to fix it, they don't, nobody checks underneath every time they're coming to this platform. Yeah. But there's about eight hours left of the uh, vehicle needing to charge mm. before it is fully charged. Right, okay. Um, Pearl. Yes? Firstly, while I was down here, were you looking for any form of recording device so that we're not being watched by cameras? No. Can you do that really quick? I can try. Right. Secondly, more importantly, well, they're both pretty important. Um, this is going to be charged in about eight hours. Or about eight of this planet cycles, which actually, I don't know how long that is. Um, <laughs> uh, it's eight hours. It's eight, eight hours. hours. Wow. It's, eight, wow. it's, it's exactly wow, like amazing. intergalactic amazing. hours. Amazing. <laughs> Flux always knows what time it is. It's the standard uh, hour. Uh, great. Yeah, the Zalarian standardized the time across <laughs> all the planets. Do you? Man, those time there's, zones are rough. Though. There's some very fast rotating planets yeah. that are just like super confused all yeah. the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you think it would give us any advantage if you um, disconnected this charge? Uh, well, that would remove our one way of getting in which would not be good. Unless I, we need to have more time, in which case then that's great. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, how long did it take us from out here? Like a couple hours? Maybe. Can we I get see. everybody back here in eight hours? <laughs> um, I mean, they they don't swim. No, they <laughs> do yeah. sink. They I'm do sink. I'm not quite sure what your plan is. Um, if, if you're swimming, no. Definitely not. Okay, we no. do still need to check towards the prison to see what's What's up What's over there? Okay, let me backtrack here. Are you checking for recording yes. devices? Yes. Okay, roll me an investigation. 
That's a 17. Okay. Um, as you <laughs> swim around, you notice that there's nothing on the platform itself, but as you kind of do a, a sweep around the car, you notice that there are some um, slight record, like, audio recording um, on the outside, and then if you peek in, there's uh, aura scanners on the inside. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. 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 Not great? No. These cars are seeming like less and less of an option. <laughs> I, I don't know another do, way to get everyone Do in. we get the idea they probably picked us up what we were saying, or no? Um... Water's weird, so I'm not sure how well sounds traveling. Yeah, no, it's, I uh, I think- Well, the car's off. The car isn't, yeah, actively on, and your 17 gives you the uh, idea that the devices are primarily made for identification. Say your name, mm. go through the aura scanner. Mm -hmm. Say your name, go through the aura scanner, right? right. Um, they, it does serve additional purposes, but it is not currently uh, like on on. Uh, if you were to get closer, you might be in trouble. Mm. To gotcha. the recording device specifically. Gotcha. Let me clarify. So, let's move off the platform before we keep talking. Yeah. Just yeah. okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna move off. <laughs> yeah. Great. You're underneath the. Right. The, so, you're underneath the platform. Now, now that we're down here. <laughs> <laughs> Come join me. So, if, if, if I'm remembering this correctly, the train comes in every was it four days? Yes. Yeah. Every four days, and if it's charging for eight, if it's going to be done in eight hours, that means that it'll probably be going to pick people up in eight hours, right? And you, they're go let me let me say this: uh, the charge is only the information that you got on the charge. So I don't know if it's going to leave right after. You don't know. You could know. But it means it was used recently. If it's still charging. Right, so or it's a shitty it's <laughs> charge, really old and terrible. <laughs> or it's a shitty charge. Because <sighs> I mean, the the goal we can't just take the train because if we take the train, then we're gonna get there, and then we're not gonna have the auras to match, and they're just gonna shoot us. <laughs> um, Perhaps. So we need people to board the thing first, so that we can kill them and then take their auras and then get in that way. <laughs> That was the original plan that you had discussed with the Red Towns. Yes, yes correct. But we, there's nobody in there. <laughs> and we're waiting. Mm. Ian's not smart enough for this. <laughs> Neither is Robin. <laughs> okay, I'm all both right. like, I'll, uh... throw you, I'll throw you a bone. Um, would someone like to investigate the car itself? Sure. Is that cocked? And I will give you. But I'll give you advantage because you've seen some <sighs> things on the car. Because I've seen some you, shit. You like you know that there's recording devices. You know there's an aura scanner. You know the magic pools underneath it. Twenty-two. Okay. Eight. <laughs> the first one was a three. <laughs> you hit your head on the back of the. T <laughs> you, like, you thought you had spatial dimension, and then you <laughs> couldn't figure out. I have what a was new going. dent in my yeah. skull. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Did I just <laughs> fix that? <laughs> it's little. It's little. Um. There is a control panel on the side that is not accessible, like open at the moment, um, but there, it is there. It, you recognize this control panel as something you have built something similar to. It gives you access to the inside without having to go inside. It's got right. diagnoses if you wanted to, again, you're looking at it going, I know that's a control panel. All right, well, we might as well. We have eight hours, apparently. <laughs> might as well what? Uh, sorry, I found a control panel, which is like my favorite thing to find on the outside of a machine. <laughs> uh, right, uh, give me a moment. I'm gonna need to get out some tools really quick, and I'm gonna start taking off the panel, and I'm gonna start looking inside. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to find out a bunch of information, uh, if there's like any sort of pre-recorded schedule in this thing, if there's like a log of last time it was used, mm -hmm. uh, if it's on the way out or the way in. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's, those are the main things I can think of at the top of my head. Okay. Uh, if you can either use your tools or investigation. Whatever one you think uh, is better. I assume if I'm using my tools, it's going to be the same bonus. Whatever. Because it's still intelligence. Yeah, perfect. So, okay. Oh, uh, that's cocked. It's super cocked. I'm getting you a new tray, my dude. I, I, but it's, I was made by a friend. Uh, 25. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, repeat those questions for me one more time. Uh, one at I a time. need to know if there's a train schedule on it, there if it's on the way in or out, yes, if yes. it's charging slow on purpose, if there's anything wrong with it. 
Uh, and if there's like a log of the last set of crew members to use it, okay. I'm looking for a bunch of information. You got all that information ready, Brady? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for information that you think is important. <laughs> I can tell you what I know is important. Um, the vehicle itself is slow charging. Um, right. It docks at this particular point every time the route is done to charge, but it charges like the way an iPhone does when it knows you're going to bed, or it's like, I'm going to do it slow so that you're not overextending But I might energy. be able to change that setting? Yes. Um, and you see the schedule. It's very, it's very cut and dry. Um, and it is scheduled to leave in 12 hours. Huh. Um, oh, looks like we got a lucky break then. That's nice. There was, uh, you wanted a list of who's been in it. That information you can't I wanted to get. know if it was going in or out right now. In or out. Um, it's waiting. So this is the charge point. So mm -hmm. the next route is go back to the prison and then come back. Right? Like it's not. So it's getting people out of the prison. Out of the prison to to do a shift change. Right. So then they'll get to the shore or whatever, mm -hmm. get off, have the new people get on, mm -hmm. and then they're going to go back. Mm -hmm. So in 12 hours, we've got to be at the beach <laughs> to get to, to pick these people off. Sure. <laughs> sure. During a shift change. Okay. That's extremely important to know. Okay. okay. We do have to go back to the beach. I fucking knew it. <laughs> well, we needed the aura scanner and stuff anyways, so. Yeah. If you got back to the beach without knowing that information, I would have loved to have seen we what happened. We would have just waited for 12 hours. Like, they'll have to get here eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but now we're going to say that exact same thing, but we'll know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. Um, you also see in the log of points made back and forth that there's not, there's never a variation in that. It is always the same route back and forth, the same four days. You've never seen a variation in the the information that you get spit out. Gotcha. Okay. That's good. <laughs> this is good information. Okay, we have 12 hours. <laughs> right, uh, okay, so this is extremely important. Uh, we have to be on the beach in 12 hours. That's when the shift change is gonna happen. That's when the people are going out of the prison and then to the shore where they're going to switch for the other people. We are then going to have to sneak on and probably kill them or knock them out, whichever one's better, and then take their aura and then we'll be good to go. We also have to look like them, which Hieronymus and I can do but not you two. We'll figure that one out in a bit. We have to get back to the shore first. Well, we have 12 hours to figure it out. Yes, <laughs> we should go buy some disguise stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, so you make this decision uh, unanimously, I assume, together. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you put the control panel back into place, uh, you hear a slight <laughs> click. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh. That's and <laughs> I assume you start swimming back. No, why did it click? <laughs> it clicks. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna figure can this we, shit out. Can we I'm, do? I'm searching. Can we do an investigation? Uh, See why it clicked. Yes, in a moment. I'm gonna okay. go back to Murrow City. <laughs> uh, so. Don't trust that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Um, heading around, we're moving away from the fortune teller, uh, we trying to do anything specific, move anywhere specific, what are we trying to do? I, I think we're trying to find out where the employees get picked up for the shuttle to the, to the thing. That was part of what we were looking for at the karaoke bar yeah. last time, yeah. and yeah. Uh, we didn't really pick anything up there, so we're just kind of wandering up and down the beach going, where? the employees to the so, prison go the okay. secret prison that nobody knows about i'm gonna back you up a little bit we're not quite to the beach yet <laughs> okay so we're still in the alley um or in the alleys excuse yeah, yeah. me um always a good place to be in, yeah in the alley um which is where we find ourselves now um and you turn the corner and you see at the end of the alley that you're at a group of four armored aliens. They're all variations of the same species. They're entirely covered in amber-colored fur, four eyes sunken into their face, hands with long claws, sharp pointy teeth. Uh, and you walk towards it, and uh, one of them was kind of gazing around, sees the two of you, and says, well, look who we have here. If it isn't Galilorn and Darbin out for a late night walk. 
um, and you see one of the members of the group boot up a hologram, a handheld hologram that shows two wanted posters oh. with with the names underneath that they called you, and they the images don't look exactly like you two, <laughs> oh, but no. close enough that you're like, I guess I could see the I resemblance. Like oh my god. <laughs> And uh, the four of them start to approach everybody. What are we doing? Sprocket's gonna pull out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I cast gun. <laughs> I'll pull out a gun on you. Um, <laughs> so what are we doing? Uh, so. Um, oh. All right, so first off, uh, we're still a ways away from them in the alley, right? Yes, yes. Uh, as you can see on this beautiful map, uh, beautiful you're map? pretty far oh. from them. Mm. Good. Okay. Okay. It's a big alley. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's a, you know, the, the back area. There's a restaurant that they need access for the hover trucks to come in. No, no, I'm and not. And drop I'm, off their supplies. I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> We're back by the space dumpsters. Yeah. You're in a parking lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this little area behind the parking lot. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah, where you. The, where the dumpster is, you know, there might be some employee from a bar coming out with a bag full of space trash yeah, or something exactly. for a smoke break. Space but trash. Yeah. That's where we find ourselves now. They just take a throw in the are. dumpster and then they dump it in the water <laughs> for Pearl to pick up. <laughs> There's Aww. cleanup droids in the There's ocean. There's nothing in the ocean, it's fine. <laughs> There's droids in there, it's all good. <laughs> you see how much the wanted posters are for? Are for? You, it's a little tiny hologram. You can just see your face. Oh, right, right, fine, roll me a perception. Okay, I'll roll a perception. I mean, we're <laughs> Tell me what you can see with your eyes, Cyrus. <laughs> 50 feet away from him. Yeah, so. I'm good at those nothing. dang eyes. Um, according to the dice, uh, not too bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, that's gonna be a 22. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Good lord! Good stuff. Okay, 5,000 keen okay. on each, so 10,000 together. That's actually pretty fucking good. <laughs> it's like 100,000 right. <laughs> uh, um, I... I feel like you guys may have us mixed up for someone. Yeah. Oh, no. I know who you are, and you're not getting away this time. I don't think we got away the last time. <laughs> you certainly got through my grass. One of them is, like, really hunched up, like, Ugh. Um, Ew. And... <laughs> What exactly is it you think we're wanted for, bro? It doesn't matter. It's all about the money now, isn't it? Right, but like if we're wanted for killing four ugly orange <laughs> bastards, you might want to recognize that as a possibility. I think we can take two criminals <laughs> um, and... Whoa, 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 sure. whoa, whoa, there's yeah, four of no, us here. No, Schmel, Schmel, Schmel is backing up. Uh, How no. drunk is Schmel still? <laughs> <laughs> Schmel's fine. Oh, uh, Sprocket goes... Uh, this seems like chaos. We should go. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, actually, yeah. <laughs> um, this one. Anger. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> so you think props. that we are them? You are them! And you ain't getting away this time! So anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna just grab the gun and be like, I think mine might be a little bit bigger. Did you pull out the shotgun? Yes. The giant ass shotgun? Yes. All right, cool. Wait, is All it right. fixed yet? All right, yeah. we are rolling initiative for Fuck. this because there's no way I'm letting you threaten them without. <sighs> Pearl and Flux are like, you know, it's really nice that we can 15. just avoid combat for, for once down here. 15. Okay. I did not bring any of my little notes, so this oh, is no. going to be great. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you want me to try to intimidate her? <laughs> I want you to wait until I know what her on this roll. Oh, for initiative? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> please. Oh. I was already planning how I'm going to kill these guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, 21. Right, 21. Um, okay, cool. So as we start threatening each other, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which okay. is great. All right, good. What did you roll? 
doesn't matter. You're at the bottom of the list. Uh, <laughs> well, no, that's not true. Who cares? I have to. Roll, I do have to roll for Schmel. I do. I will roll for Schmel, and I will roll for Sprocket. I mean, statistically, Cyrus will always be last. No. Unless it's for Skedaddle. Sprocket. Unless okay, for Schmel Sprocket, roll. I think has Fireball. I could oh be no, no, Schmel. She's gonna go after. Schmel is gonna go after. So does Pearl. Let's see what Sprocket's oh, I would doing. Love Pearl to bust that shit out. Sprocket rolled a ten, so Sprocket's at the bottom. Oh, Sorry, Sprocket. Poor guy. Um, so Cyrus. Schmel, Sprocket. Okay. Um, great. So before we can start blasting, yeah. um, the one that was pointing very little, very tiny little guns, by the way, um, fires three. And uh, it, it hits you, it hits you, it hits Schmel, and it stings. It doesn't, it's not a like projectile it just kind of like oh, no. stings a little bit and it's well. and it glows oh, a little bit so you've got a glowing dot on you got tracker mm. darts in you know. uh, but it doesn't cause you any damage doesn't it just stings um that's suspicious <laughs> and uh that's where we're at now okay hieronymus what are you doing uh hieronymus thinking that we are being set up to get an express pass to the prison uh, <laughs> Wow, <laughs> convenient. <laughs> Take two. In your life. Okay, let me let me ask you this. Do you think, genuinely, do do your PCs think that there's only one Zalarian prison on this planet? No. No, we're just near one. <laughs> yes, correct. I'm just I'm just I'm just genuinely curious. Cyrus would not know. Okay, I think there are multiple. Yeah, uh, Hieronymus does have no idea. Okay, so are you assuming... He has stayed away from prisons yeah. throughout his whole career. Yes, correct. Okay, I'm just, I'm just genuinely curious about if this is where we're going, what we're doing with this. Okay, great. Hieronymus, what are you doing? Uh, Hieronymus is going to... Um, he is going to put out a... No, you know what he's going to do? He's going to do his cool new thing where he uh, uses his push somebody with his telekinesis ability because he thinks that's going to spook him. Okay. Oh, it's going to spook him. Well, it's going to make him think twice. Ah, okay. Business. Make him think twice. That's a bonus action. Sure. Um, so why can't I find it? No, no. There we go. Uh, telekinetic shove. You can also attempt to shove a creature with your mind. It uses, uh, Charisma and actions. Sorry. I think the person has to make a strength save. There we go. Telekinetic show. Boom. Okay. There it is. Strength save. Is no. Great. Push him. Push him. Nothing will de escalate situations more than pushing <laughs> someone gently on the shoulder. Yeah. Hey, man. You want to go? Yeah, that'll oh. really be <laughs> Okay, so you're just pushing one. Uh. Oh, man. So the one you push just barely. And and let me let me say this, too. This is new to you, right? Yep. You, you discovered that you can do this. Right. You've made no comment about this to any of your crew members that you've now discovered you've got a new magical power. Mm -hmm. And you just take to it like a fish to water and as you reach with your mind I, I don't know like just really trying you feel a little bit of pushback and then it comes out of you in a wave and you push, push one of the bounty hunters right. into a wall yeah and uh, and with that uh, Hieronymus is going to say look I don't know who you think you're dealing with here but you have the wrong people, and this would be an excellent time to turn and walk away. And he's gonna do an intimidation. Yes. Check there. Excellent. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. And I just uh, roll. How very cowboy of you. <laughs> I was inspired by a certain hat that I saw recently. <laughs> what? Where could that have been? Weird. <laughs> um. Okay. So. That's a 21 on my intimidation check. Yeah, Ooh. absolutely. Hieronymus is scary. Um, He's so spooky. It's because I'm green at the moment. <laughs> that, green things are it. always scarier. Pur purple things, eh. Yeah. Green? Ugh. Especially the new art. That Hieronymus, not so intimidating. I'm just Great. saying, Brady, you're Excellent. not intimidating. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. <laughs> 
name first. <laughs> okay, fine. You want me to oh, aim? Oh, no, hold up. <laughs> wow, you that was aimed. worse. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Bullets are flying! I think, I think Britty needs a scope. <laughs> she has Don't a scope. say that! She'll come in with a bigger gun! <laughs> I have a bigger gun. I told her to bring the Gatling gun, but she didn't do it. The Gatling nerf. I can't, right. okay, I can't have this whole game be me destroying you with my mind palace. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. The one that you intimidate to all hell pisses himself <laughs> absolutely wow, right starts crawling then. away you've got three other bounty hunters to contend with yeah so what are we what are we doing next the bounty hunters are next so that's what we're doing next and uh the wait before you guys go is this bounty dead or alive or just alive <laughs> Because that makes a difference. Valid <laughs> <Valley> question. <laughs> Good question. Um, the the you say this, and the one that's like crawling away is like alive, alive, alive. Um, oh, there you go. And uh, pretty it's, much safe then. Uh, trying to get away, and um, hmm, this bounty hunter is going to try to aim for Cyrus because you're closer and bigger. And uh, we're, <laughs> does a 20 hit? <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. I want Cyrus to line them all up and shoot them all with one shotgun blast. <laughs> uh, and that, so, okay, cool. So the uh, the bounty hunter pulls, you <laughs> pulled out your shotgun. This bounty hunter pulls out a big oh! electric <laughs> net launcher uh. and Fire's kind of just in the general direction and it hits you. Uh, and you are uh, restrained by okay. a net and you take uh, five lightning damage. So it's a little bit of an electrified net. Um, and if you want to free yourself a uh, DC 15 strength check uh, to attempt to free yourself strength wise. Okay. Um. Yes, gonna try to free okay. myself. Roll me a strength check. Ju I, I hit fifteen. Meets so. it beats. All right, cool. cool. So, how does how does that work? You're restrained. You've got this electric net over top of you. Then what happens? Feel like he's gonna turn around the gun and use the spikes on the end to slash it. That's okay, if you're work. if you're doing slashing damage, yeah. Um, instead of a strength check. Well, yeah. So, we'll just say that your motion okay. pulls the net off of you. Um, and the uh, bounty hunter, oh shit, um, <laughs> and uh, backs up a step, and the other two are waiting to see what you two will do. Great. Excellent. Doesn't he have two oh, attacks? Boy. Uh, you have two attacks, right, Cyrus? Yeah, Cyrus does have two attacks. No. Yeah, you can. It is now your turn. Okay. <laughs> so, was it was getting it off part of the turn? I'm assuming yes. No, I will. Okay. I will let you do that as an action re in response. <laughs> okay. So Cyrus is going to <laughs> cock the shotgun mm -hmm. and shoot at one of them. Sure. Um, yeah, I believe if you actually rack the shotgun and go, ch -ch -ch, you get uh, advantage on the attack. That's like absolutely. in the rules somewhere. Yeah. Oh. And it hits because anything that's not a one or a two will hit. Right. Um, so they got to make a deck save. Yeah, they have to make a deck save. And I okay. Pull the friggin' information again. It's so, a DC 15. I uh, remember this. <laughs> yeah. All right, 15. Is that a meets a beat situation or? That's how all DCs nope. work, yes. Great, cool. The just barely like singes fur as it goes mm. past. Uh. And again, you hear, oh shit. It, it's, still, <laughs> it's still gonna do half damage. So okay. you should still roll that D8. Six plus five. Sense would be five damage. Five but damage, okay. Yeah. Um, and then he's gonna just look at the other one and glare at him and try to intimidate. Okay, 
So there's three in the alley right now. So you've hit the one that shot at you, obviously, yes. which is directly in front of you. Um, the one to uh, their right, uh, you are trying to intimidate. Yep. All right. Uh, that is 13 plus five. So that's going to be a t 19. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you do? Cyrus, what do you do? <laughs> he is just going to glare at him and not like do a full rage, but like let his eyes flash golden just for a moment. Okay. Just for a moment. And that gets the bounty hunter like full body shiver. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and backs up a few more steps. Nothing more scary than a bald, mutton-chopped biker. <laughs> with, glowing glowing eyes? Eyes. with glowing eyes. Yeah, with eyes. glowing eyes. Who like, just shot see? your friend? With the shotgun. So, yeah. I mean... <laughs> okay, sure. I will I will say that does add to it. <laughs> it had no reaction to the electrified net. It had so. no reaction to the net. Just sh shrugged it off. Cyrus is a little terrified. Like a Waffle House employee dodging a chair. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's a timely reference that'll work really well in the VODs. It'll be very good. Not All right. Let's see what <sighs> Schmel's doing. Um, Not run away, please. I'm... Well... I know. Mm. Well, roll um, for it. See what he, he does. He is not doing great. First of all, bit poisoned. Um, bit poisoned. Bit drunk. Bit poisoned. Bit drunk. Oh um, uh, fuck! You guys are fighting. A normal oh, Tuesday. This is what is this? Uh, House Sprocket was more ready to fight. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna try to hit this guy, um, and throws a. <laughs> All right, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, just a punch. <laughs> just a punch. Would have rolled a net, but has disadvantage because he's not doing great. So doesn't do great. So does the classic twist around where, you know, you punch and you turn your whole body around. But oh boy. he gets two attacks, uh, and that's a 12 to hit the bounty hunters, um, which... Uh, does not hit. So, oh. unfortunately, just clangs off of their armor. <laughs> Schmel takes two swings and then realizes he's 30 feet away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got them. They're right here. They're, uh, oh, okay. Ow. Uh, I'm going to go sit down. <laughs> oh, okay. At least he didn't run. You know, yeah, yeah, like, that's he good tried. Time. Yeah, so Schmel is now sitting behind the dumpster. Um, and... That's where Schmel is gonna be, and uh, Sprocket is up. Um, so we're just gonna see. Well, <laughs> would, would, would sorry, like, sorry, Sprocket. What would he do? <laughs> Tried to fire a laser and oh. rolled a net. Wow, that's pretty bad. So it's really bad. <sighs> um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I I think I think what happens is that Sprocket is like. This is too much chaos. I will assist and fires a laser straight up. <laughs> this will get attention no. of authorities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, like, okay. No, no, we do not want to notify anyone else. It seems like you need more assistance. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, great. We, we, uh, we, we may be caught. <laughs> Top of the order. Hieronymus, uh, what are we doing? And let me just remind you, fleeing is a free action. <laughs> yeah. Roll for skedaddle. Roll, Roll for, for skedaddle. skedaddle. But <sighs> is Schmel really in any position to run? I got I it. I figured Sives Sorry. would just, <laughs> yeah, toss him over the shoulder. It's I got fine. it. I'm, I'm sobering up. I'm sobering up. I can run. Oh, I should have. Damn it. Never mind. It's fine. Not controlling him anymore. <laughs> You've relinquished the control. All right. <laughs> Hieronymus is going to... He is going to move down around the corner here mm -hmm. so that if these guys want to uh, step into view of us, they are going to have to come towards us. Okay. As and then you, he is going to yes, go ahead. As you move, uh, one of the one, <laughs> the the two that are not freaked out, go. You can run, but you can't hide. I'm not running. I'm just moving to a tactically better position to kill you, dumb sons of bitches. <laughs> That's not scary. Ask your buddy with the wet crotch. 
He's, oh, God, he's a awesome. baby. Yeah, he's... He's, he's, he's new. Smells <laughs> like wet dog, the bounty hunter. <laughs> Fairly accurate. All right, cool. So you're you're just moving? I'm moving over there, and then I'm going to uh, ready an action. Okay. Uh, and when one of these guys pops around the corner into view, uh, I am going to... Um, I am going to cast a spell. Okay. Okay, so you're holding your action and yep. the uh, bounty hunter that hasn't really done a lot, the quiet type, uh, moves forward, not within your view, um, but around the corner, we're doing a classic action movie on the corner, doing a peek over the shoulder, uh, and is trying to peek without you seeing. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll a stealth for this bounty hunter to see if they are stealthy enough that you can't see. Um, so we're just gonna roll real dice for this one. <laughs> so the, the, the bounty hunter's up against the wall and uh, is like, <laughs> and then full body comes around the corner. <laughs> So you see it. the full head and shoulders of this bounty hunter. You're, it's, it's within your view now, so they're right around the corner. Oh, yeah, cool. So All you, right. you may certainly take your action at this bounty hunter. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah. Uh, that was a nat one, baby. Nice. These bounty hunters aren't very good at their job, I'll be honest. They're trying to go after 5,000 keen yeah, bounties. Yeah, they're, they're going after big ones for the yeah. fact that they're not very good. Uh, that's not a big bounty. Let me let me just say that. Well, you don't you don't. That's that's not a big bounty. <laughs> Didn't you, wait? You said five thousand keen. Five thousand keen. I don't know. You could buy some good shit from the magic shop for that. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah, not a, lot a of big. Good it's magic not shops. a big bounty. Yeah, but it's not nah, the kind of money that you are going to survive. There are bigger off bounties out there. <laughs> sure. There are bigger <laughs> bounties <laughs> out there. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, well, this guy sticks his head around the corner, and Hieronymus is going to cast Charm Person. Mm -hmm. Kidnap another one. <laughs> no. Oh, my Keep God. adding them to the crew. Oh, this one will shoot you when the charm right wears off. Wisdom save. Okay. Twelve. Boom. Yes. <laughs> All right, bro. I told you you got the wrong guy, man. Now, why don't we just consider to do this peacefully? I, I can take you in. You could, but you you wouldn't get the money because I'm not the guy you're after. Look at me. You know me, man. I'm not. I, I couldn't do whatever this was all about. Oh, look at this guy. And he pulls up the uh, hologram. And it's, 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 now that you're closer, the head shape is like, the opposite of whatever your head shape is. I don't know what head shape you're doing, but if you're doing a triangle, it's a square. If you're doing yeah. a square, it's a triangle, all that jazz. Um, but like th <laughs> this bounty hunter goes, right? No, man, look, that's a triangle. This is a, this is a round, man. Can't you tell round from triangle on uh, your planet? On my planet, there really isn't a difference. We're all kind of furry. Yeah. Oh, man. See, this is what's bad is you're going to go and they're going to say, this is not the guy and you will have wasted all this time. My big friend there is going to kill some of your people. Do you want to go through that, man? I mean, I, I don't want to not get my money, but if you say I'm not going to get any money, I'm going to go for the other one. But the other one is wrong, too. I don't know. I feel like I'm right. right? Would I lie to you? I mean, I mean, we're bros, man. We are bros. <laughs> bros is a strong word. Bros, that's there's not a translation for that from my planet, so I don't know quite what you mean. This is a very weak charm person. This is going apparently. great. <laughs> no, this guy. I mean, do you not have combative friends in your life? Of course we have combative friends, but you know, yeah, you this is the kind of friends who will sit there and ask bros. you questions about gravity and atmosphere <laughs> in the middle of the show. Yeah, it's not, it's not like I have those friends at all. No, you've never. <laughs> I'm only friends with people who adore me. Um, so, okay, so yeah, this guy, like, obviously likes you, but is yeah. not like 
Um, well, regardless, he came around the corner looking to shoot me, and now he's not going to shoot me. Yeah, so oh yeah, he's absolutely not going to shoot you. Is is like the gun is away and is like, squ you know, squinting at the hologram disc and is like, and then like s it starts swiping through different bounty options. Maybe if I, uh, well, this. I mean, hmm, what do you think about this one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. you should go after somebody else, dude. Yeah. Well, that one says it's on a different planet, yeah. so. I want oh. you to get hosed, man. I mean, it'd be nice to actually get a bounty for once. That would be great, actually. Um, <laughs> Put on like a losing streak lately. <laughs> I need to pay the bills. Because uh, I can tell you got the makings of a great bounty hunter. I'd hate to see you get off on the wrong foot here, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what? You're right. You're so right. Uh, and is gonna walk past you the uh, down well, the alley. Take your buddy with you, man. Oh no, they're not my friends. Oh, <laughs> so you don't mind if we kill them? They're my coworkers, oh my so God. like, I guess. I, you yeah. know what? I should start freelancing. I'm gonna go freelance. <laughs> Walks away. All right, cool. Well, we're done. Who is this guy? Um, <laughs> Hey, if you're ever looking for a job, I know a ship that's hiring a crew, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't, I, you know what? I'm not really cut out for that. I'm more of a solo act. Peace out, bro. Peace out, Peace bro. Out. <laughs> uh, okay, great. We're down to two bounty hunters. Okay, so. That took six seconds. Yeah, that I was going <laughs> to say, that was a really long conversation for six seconds. Uh, during this six seconds, you know, because on this planet, six seconds Time is, is weird is here. It's fine. <laughs> six seconds is different. But um, eight hours is the same. Eight hours is the same, but the seconds are different. Okay. Really um, long right, seconds. Right, right, right. We, super weird. Okay, so this bounty hunter is going to move closer to you, Cyrus. Um, and Schmel. You know what? Aims for Schmel. Schmel. Over your shoulder. Not Schmel. Schmel's sitting on the ground uh, with his head in his hands. And um, it's gonna do a do another net. There's it's a re reloadable one. Uh, there's a couple nets in there, and that's uh, not gonna hit Schmel. In fact, oh, that's good. Which, so weirdly Take enough, that. Schmel is sitting on the ground, right? So you would think, ah, point blank, surely this bounty hunter can do it, and it weirdly goes over top. It's only good at long range. Long range. Only good at long range. It's really good for long range. Um, it goes pff, over top and Schmel goes, was something happened? As we all know, ranged weapons are more inaccurate when you're holding them right up to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Point blank is bad. Um, okay, so that bounty hunter is like, eh, great. And then uh, this bounty hunter moves a little closer. And that is the end of the bounty hunter's turn, which means we are now at Cyrus's turn. Again, may I remind you, you can leave. Blast his face off. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you know, it's personal now. You just shot at Schmel, so. <laughs> Schmel's fine. Yeah. But yeah, if we don't take him. these guys out, the chat will never forgive us. You rescued Schmel from the shipping containers. I feel like you're forgiven. Plus, we may or may not have trackers. <laughs> you so also, definitely to be fair, have we, trackers. Also, we like kidnapped Schmel in the first place, so we kind of owed it to yeah, him. Yeah, but then he he decided that we were all cool and yeah, he's super drunk right now. Also, he's yeah. super drunk. Yeah. I mean, it's a five, so I'm definitely it's, it's hit this this guy this guy. Blast him! Right so here. Blammo! Are stuff. you <laughs> shooting at him? Okay, yeah, shoot at him. I what do I need to do? Oh. Um, it'd be a dex save uh, again. We love a dex save. DC 15. These bounty hunters are great at that. Actually, they're actually pretty But he is. Pretty, pretty decent. They're close. <laughs> Theoretically, they're decent at it. Um, okay. Cool. Point blank. Mm -hmm. Right in the face. Some of the fur catches Get fire. Um. Uh. So that's nine damage. Nine damage. Okay. Uh, the... Bounty Hunter now is like a little bit on fire. And he's gonna look at the other one who's approaching you like, you better fucking stay back. <laughs> you rolling intimidation again? Like, Absolutely. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not just because I have to reload now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is not as good. But that is a 16. Uh, 16. Yeah, I mean, I think you stop him in his tracks. Stay right there. 
Um, okay, great. This is going well. Schmel, uh, like hearing advice from a- Also gonna inch a little bit like in front of Schmel so Schmel's no longer directly in fire. Oh, well, Schmel's leaving. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Schmel's well, like, I've had enough of this. I'm leaving. <laughs> and uh, goes to join you in the alley there, Hieronymus. Um, yeah, uh, roughly. And is like, why we need to go. Yeah. Can we go? Well, I mean, we got to make sure these guys don't just like follow us. You, you want, you should take it off. Yeah. You yeah. want to grab that off of me? Go. Oh, ahead. yeah. Here, you give them off of me. <laughs> All right. And so you take each other's trackers off as an action. Um, great. And that's the end of Schmel's turn. Um, Sprocket goes up to you, Cyrus, and uh, says, this is too much chaos. We should go. Uh, and uh, tries to pull you along. Uh, he's not gonna stop him, but still watching both of okay. them. Like, just keeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, great, excellent. Uh, do we disengage from this? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool, we're disengaged from the fight, and the bounty hunter, one of them is like, on fire a little bit. It is like, ugh, and the other one was like, I don't wanna get shot at. Uh, and everybody kind of hustles back, I assume. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Man, you could have just dropped the disguises. <laughs> no. <laughs> Schmel on your way plucks the tracker off of you, Cyrus. Um, and so now you are no longer being tracked. Um, cool. Great. Cool. Excellent. This is where I'm going to pause Miro City for a second. Great. We're going to go back into the ocean here. So let's oh, just wow, real quick go back, whoosh, back underwater. Um, and uh, we're back underwater. <laughs> You heard a click. What are right. we doing? We're investigating You're that. investigating a click. Yeah, let me in. Right, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing that. I totally wasn't distracted by the weirdness going on across the table. I don't know. Uh, you wouldn't know. 21. 21. <laughs> OK. Great. Um, Pearl? <laughs> it's a landmine. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I got a nine. You got a nine. I got a nine. OK. Um, Flux. That wasn't good. Uh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't great at Can all. Can I find out what it is? You look around, and you don't really have to look around much because you see two glowing red eyes on top of a very small metal head, which sits atop a very long, flexible metal neck with a 10-foot body that's dark against the calmness of the ocean. What the fuck? And a deep, booming voice says, you have been recorded entering a restricted area. Surrender now or be eliminated. Right. Uh, about that, can we talk about that? <laughs> uh, sh you certainly say a thing. You say words and uh, dodge that. <laughs> Does a 17 hit? Um, actually, not if Flex throws up his shield, which he can do. Great. So, um, as a torpedo gets launched, I'm like, <laughs> instant reaction. I have one of those nano shields, so I like bash it, and like, yeah. it goes on really fast. It goes on really fast. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you're hit by a torpedo. Um, and the voice says again, surrender now or be eliminated. <laughs> So what is, can you, yes. so it's like a two red eyes on like a metal head and like a weird long lanky neck. It looks like a plesiosaur. Oh, so it's, it's oh, a robo dinosaur. It's a robo dinosaur. Does it have big old scary jaws? Or is uh, it just like a metal orb? It's just a, like a long metal head that is very clearly some kind of recording device. Oh my God, it's called Dino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to know why it's called Dino? Yeah, please, tell me the acronym. Defense Integration of Notable Operations. God damn it. Thank you, um, thank you. Right, so do I get the idea that me interacting with this panel set off a trap that triggered the Dino? With your 21? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it was here. We just didn't find it. It just showed up when we triggered Is the Is it that giant thing? It might be Great. the giant thing. Cool. It might be. Pearl, I want that dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> That's your response? 
Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, but we should probably run the fuck away. Are we are we just trying to Well, cuz if we leave it here then it'll fucking go back and tell everyone that we're here and Right. Also it did say that if we didn't surrender it would destroy us and we're not doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Roll the initiative. Let's go. A real solid 14. 14. Great. Middle of the pack. The dino rolled a 17. Damn it. He's fast. Oh, yeah. I got 10. That dino's fast. Okay, Pearl, you got a 10. At least three. I have 377. 377's on your turn, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he moves right after I do. Cool. All right, cool. Well, the dino, you know what? I'm going to say that the dino shooting the torpedo was the first turn, so Flux, you are welcome to take your turn now. I... Yes, that makes sense. I just want to say that I just typed into Google 377 to open up his stats, and I was like, why didn't that work? I wonder why. Google doesn't, the SEO for our show isn't big enough yet? What? Weird. That's wild. Actually, I'm curious what happens if you Google our show, but nobody do that while uh, we're playing. Yeah, don't do that now. Do that later. Do please. that later. Um, yes. Right, so uh, as I uh, am trying to recover from this torpedo thing, I'm deactivating the shield so I can actually hold the gun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, and. Mm -hmm. So we're on the platform, right? So that everything is like on ground right now? Yep. Yeah, you're on solid ground. I'm going to quickly push myself as fast as I can to go around the side of this car. Okay. Can I actually make it there? 15, 20. I think I can like just make it like there. Okay. So there's like the doors kind of blocking me of the open up thing. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna shoot it. Cause I need to know if it could take damage from laser beams. So yeah, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna I'm gonna blast it. All right, blast it. I'm gonna blast it. Blast it. Uh oh, that's really high. That's uh it's 26. Oh my god. I rolled insane. Yeah, uh, absolutely, blast it. I'm gonna shoot it twice because I can do that now. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna roll the other one now if you're yeah. okay with that. Yeah, okay, go for great. it. Because I don't think it's gonna die in one. Is that cocked? Oh thank God. <laughs> Still not great. Uh 17. 17. That does hit. Okay, uh, I'm gonna shoot it twice with my laser gun. Please. Yeah, I'm gonna just add up all the damage and give it to you? Yes, please. Okay, great. Uh, 20 total points of piercing damage. Okay, beautiful. As I yeah. blast it twice. You uh, see in, where, where, do you, where do you aim? Because um, it's a very large creature. Right, yeah. So I'm aiming for the head because okay. if I can d damage the eyes, maybe it can't see us. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I don't think you fully damage the eyes, but you do start to see a crack forming in one of them. Like that, that spreads across the lens. I got good news and bad news. The bad news is it's gonna shoot torpedoes at us. The good news is it can take damage. You should probably hide. <laughs> Great, cool. 377 is going to, just gotta lower to where Pearl is. Okay. And he's going to take a defensive position, defensive stance. Defensive stance. Great, excellent. You defensive stance, and that's it? Yep, that's his turn. All right, Pearl. He doesn't have a ranged weapon, so. What are you doing, Pearl? Um, Pearl's going to look back at Flux and look at this giant thing in front of her and just be like, okay. <laughs> and I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. What uh, that well, that sounds awesome. So that sounds amazing. It's a deck save. My spell save DC is 14. Okay. That can only go well when you're underwater. Okay, well, so, okay. so now it's 8d6 <laughs> lightning damage. He failed so hard. Yeah, th listen, it's a 10 foot long dinosaur. Yeah, it that's, should not be dexterous. It's not attempting to be a, a that's creature. That's 27 damage. Uh, so it does. it's not dodging because it's made to survey and destroy. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. <laughs> so, yep. It's a pretty solid first turn, actually. <laughs> You blast off one of its fins. It's got like little fins at the bottom that help it swim, like a dinosaur. And you blast one of them off with your lightning damage. You're moving at half speed, you swim. And now uh, the yeah, lightning spreads across the, its body and it creeps its way into the broken lens on the top. And now one of its eyes is glowing blue and red. You can do that? What? <laughs> I've never needed it before. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna try and start scooting. Scoot, 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 scoot in a boot. Swim, well, swim, actually, swim. if I win, 
No, that'll just make it so that Flux and I are like clustered, and that's not good. Okay, and great. And then it'll use its breath weapon, and we'll all right, die. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> the know. dinosaur's breath weapon. Um, Dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay, cool. Well, it is uh, the dino's turn again, and uh, it's gonna try to shoot another torpedo at basically just where it just got damage from, right? So it's gonna try to shoot at you, Pearl. No. Oh. Um, does a 19 hit? Um, not if I cast shield. Good, good stuff. Glad shield. we have these. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, so tell me how that goes. What does that look like when this torpedo zooms out towards you? Um, Pearl shield is magical in nature. And so the torpedo starts coming and you would see her almost do like this really quick, like a little And then when it comes, it's like you can, the shield's invisible, but when something hits it, it's like that reverberation of light. This, this is cool. I like yeah. that. That's really neat. That looks great. <laughs> um, Great, okay, excellent. You absorb the shock, um, mm -hmm. and now you and Flux have done the same move to me, is it, specifically. Is it moving, the, the dino? Um, it's creeping. Swimming, real it's slow? It's swimming. Um, no, no. Well, right now it's not moving at all, so that's what? great. Guess uh, it can't move. We damaged its fins, it can't go anywhere. Yeah, right, no, it swims it, in circles. It, <laughs> it moves real close. We uh, split the party more often. We are way <laughs> more effective when we're not as a team. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Um, okay, yeah, it moves real fast. Uh, Zoom. It's not, we're not quite, well, that, you know what? That's half speed, actually. Um, it still can move pretty far. It's pretty big. Um, but so it, it shoots a torpedo and then comes closer to you and it says, eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. Uh, you know, if they didn't announce their presence, they might be better robots. Like Dalek. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Maybe he needs a nap. <laughs> Do you say this? Yeah. <laughs> How very nanny droid of you. <laughs> That's the dinosaur. I don't know why he's so mad. <laughs> Lux, what are you doing? Right, it's back to me. Um, firstly, I'm going to shout out to Pearl. Stay close to 377, he'll protect you. So I'm gonna, he's gonna just like, it's kind of like here. Um, and I'm going to actually move all the way behind this thing because I, God, I don't want to get fucking torpedoed. Torpedoed. <laughs> are uh, you gonna try and blast them first? I, I am going to do so, yes. Um, I'm basically like going behind the train and re not realizing that somewhere else on the planet this exact same thing is happening with Hieronymus, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Parallels. Um, I'm gonna shoot him twice again, yeah. I don't wanna use my spells. <laughs> I'm not asking you to. I'm asking you to tell me what you do when a big uh, robotic surveillance device comes forward. So, 16 on my first attack. To hit? To hit. Okay, uh, give me just a second because I am having technical difficulties, which is great. 16 does hit. Okay, and the second attack is higher. It was a 24. Okay, great, they both hit. Jesus. My reflexes are way better now. <laughs> Under the water. We should just get you a tank. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be 18 points of piercing damage. Oh my damage. god, it's the shape of water, but in D&D. I'm less ugly We'll just than keep him. you in the, true. We'll keep you in the tub, it'll be great. Um, so yeah, I'm blasting it twice. I, it, you said the lightning bolt kind of like went up through its body, right? Yeah. Does it seem like there's any weaker points like on its body, or is it all just near the head? Where that... So as you blast it, you aim just general. Mm -hmm. what, what are you shooting again? I'm using my laser rifle. Okay, so you've got a very defined yes, point. Yes, it is of, a specific of point of attack. And you're shooting twice. Yes. Okay, so. I'm faster now, I can do that. Great. <laughs> uh, through the eye that's already broken, that eye shatters. The glass comes out and it right. powers down. And you, for some reason, I don't know if this is intuition or if this is just general knowledge of machinery, you shoot its base of its neck uh, where there is a connection point. And you manage to hit something in just the right way that the neck separates from the body. Hell yeah. Held on by just a few wires. Um, and the, the eye is still tracking, but it's real sideways now, and it's kind of starting to tilt really far because it's losing one fin. El 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 eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. Uh, so you're saying he's bloodied. 
<laughs> yeah, so, so Flux, he like shoots it, cocks it, shoots it, and as he does, he quickly taps something on his wrist and he puts like a little laser pointer that points towards that area that's like right where that thing just got damaged. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go, now! And 377's gonna try to punch, try to get him. Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna go for the pinch pinch. A little snip snip. Snip snip. Two snips. Two snips. Oh! Mm -hmm. It was a 13, 16, 3. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so that's gonna be, what, plus 10? 10 to hit? 10 to hit, that is not gonna hit. Yeah, dang. I don't know if it's just because the dinosaur is like still able to move around or if it's just because the neck is separating. <laughs> like wherever you aimed the laser, there's well, not a spot anymore. So unfortunately 377, despite being a crab, is not aquatic. So he's just like, he's like, he's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's like way slower. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Um, cool. Well, so the, the dinosaur is now uh, twitching. Um, and. As are we all. <laughs> uh, Pearl, what are you doing? Um, I'm camera. going to cast Shatter, which is another saving throw. It's a constitution saving throw. And he has disadvantage because he's a construct. Ain't Shatter a cool spell? Yeah. Um, I don't think I can roll disadvantage in the way I have this system set up for this particular guy, but I'll just roll twice. It's a con save, right? Yeah. Oh, well, see? I'm technical difficulties. Um, oh. Great. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, either so one. Either one was under, so. That's 15 thunder damage. Um, and then something else happens? Is that. I don't remember. Hold on, I'm reading it. I am absolutely stealing this thing's torpedo launcher. Uh, I want a rocket launcher, baby. <laughs> uh, great. No. Okay. Okay. Well, as as you, what do you do? Actually, tell me tell me what you do before we. Um, how does this happen? So, with its head like half, yep. on. Pearl is just going to aim right into the hole of his neck, mm -hmm. um, and it's um, it's thunder damage. So it's just like that. Like last time when she tried casting stuff like this on the wolves, where it like kind of like yeah, from from that spot outwards. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and you can see the ripples through the water now because we're mm -hmm. underneath the water. It's a it's great. Cool little ballistics kind of container. And um, the <laughs> you watch as a combination of things happen at the same time. The lightning that was sitting in the eye travels back down the neck because uh, it didn't have anywhere to go. So it travels back down the neck and hits. it starts to hit this central area and your spell is, is collapsed in and then explodes outwards. And this, the lightning travels with the explosion outwards and you you're dodging shrapnel at this point it is it is in pieces there is very the only thing left is a the eye that floats past you um that is in a recognizable piece you have utterly utterly destroyed this surveillance 377 just right next to me like ting, 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 trying to keep the pieces <laughs> from me <laughs> yeah yeah um and I think everybody's fast enough under the water to be able to dodge any major shrapnel, but you watch it float and spin past. You see Do bits see of wire. Do I see his eye anywhere? It floated past wherever you two were. Went, I just want to grab it. Uh, <laughs> Put it in my... Roll me a dex. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you don't, I'm getting it. <laughs> Let me see what my dex is real quick. Did you click a plus three? I know it's higher, but I don't know exactly. It is a plus three. I don't know why I remember that. It's not my character. Uh, that's 15. 15. Yep. I think it goes past you, so an arm has to kind of reach back around uh, and grab it. But uh, I just cleaned this ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna swim out from behind the train. What, the whole thing? Most of it. No, Pearl. I got the eye for you. Oh, thank you. Wow, you really did a number on that thing. Yeah. That's unfortunate. We'll have to come back so I can clean it up. Yeah. You can shoot lightning out of your hands. Sometimes. Not too many times. Or uh, my wiring doesn't like it. Right, right. You'd like overload. Your, yeah. Okay. That's insane. I've never seen you do anything like that. Well, I didn't need to. 
I guess. Well, I'm glad to know you have it. You're a good fighter. For the fact that you're not supposed to be a fighter, it's kind of crazy. Well, you have to be able to protect the children you're in charge of. Gonna put the eye in my bag. Right, right, with lightning bolts. <laughs> you don't know what could come. Apparently I don't, because oh, raising kids. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go over to the plesiosaur thing. <laughs> it's gone, it's in pieces. I'm, there's a bunch of pieces. There's a bunch of little I'm, pieces. I'm searching through Are the pieces. Are we looting the corpse? Absolutely. It's, Hell, yeah. it's moving, it's Loot moving. I'm corpse. taking what I can get, Well, Brittany. I mean, Lux right. is a fast swimmer. I, uh -huh. I swim fast. All right, roll me, roll me a dex. Dex? Yeah, to grab the pieces. Oh, shit, okay. I thought this was an investigation. No! <laughs> uh, 19. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> you grab a bunch of space junk. Great. I think this might be a piece of the torpedo launcher, but I have no idea anymore. <laughs> yep. I I will say you've grabbed fifteen pieces of scrap. Right. Well. Damn. Okay. These, these have a lot of potential uses. And well, you know what? We destroyed it so well that uh, nobody can tell where it went. I suppose not. Hopefully, uh, that didn't send a signal or anything. <laughs> Time to go? Didn't find a piece that said it did, so yeah, let's get out let's of here. Let's go. <laughs> Great, cool. We are swimming back Reattaching to... Reattaching the door, by the way, for real. <laughs> the, the actual yeah. control panel, yeah, absolutely. Uh, great, you are swimming back to shore. Uh, okay, so, unless anything notable happens, nope. I'm gonna say that we meet up back at the beach. Woo. Yeah. How was right. your day? Mine was fine. <laughs> okay, so here's Flip the hair out of the eyes. Here's, here's what happens, right? We we find ourselves back on the beach. Uh, we have a bunch of red talons that are sitting around. Pearl and and Flux drag themselves out of the ocean, or maybe not drag themselves. Maybe Pearl is just flowing beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> just easily walking out just of the water. Easily walking up. Yeah. Yeah. While we're waiting for them, Hieronymus touches up uh, Cyrus's disguise and takes the mutton chops and turns it into a mohawk, so it does not look at all like that. Uh, okay, great, great. Yep, yep. Thing. I and, love that. Uh, Good. Gonna yeah. Going to switch from being green to maybe uh, uh, I don't know. Chartreuse. Okay, Ew. chartreuse, great. So you two are, are doing this as you're walking back yeah, yeah, up as to the we're, beach. Yeah. yeah, and Schmel's following you, and Sprocket's following you. Um, and the red talons kind of like hop up to attention and go, woo, and uh, now, we, now we have everybody back in one spot. What do we do? What happens here? What happened to you? Oh, we, I like your haircut, Cyrus. It is a disguise. We went out and got a few things. Uh, Cyrus is going to hand out the keen, to, to, to the keen gloves. The gloves? Ooh. You managed to find the, that's a robot. Yeah, affirmative. Where did you pick up a, you bought another robot? I'm just going to put on the keen glove. <laughs> we, he's, a, he's a bartender. Right, we don't have a bar on our ship. Uh, I think the scimitar will be having a bar at some point, and we will need someone to tend it. So also, you guys have no idea how Cyrus crushed at karaoke. Oh my God! <laughs> What's karaoke? I'm glad I was under the ocean. <laughs> uh, karaoke. It's a game. It's a thing where you sing along to songs. I guess that's what I did. Okay. Right. Sounds. Fun. Did you get any information that's important? E, not so much with the information, but we did get the cool uh, keen gloves. So we, there's we, that. We did also get keen. Well, these will help us blend it at least. Um, and we uh, had a run in with some bounty hunters who mistook us what? for some. Yeah, bounty for hunters. They mistook us for somebody else, but yeah. we took care of them. Who would you two get mistaken for? Uh, what were their names? I'd Grognog and Flibjab, or I yeah, don't know, whatever. some crap. <laughs> they were low That's why we had to change profile. the costumes around a little bit here. <laughs> they were not really very good bounty hunters. Hieronymus, you can look like anybody you want to. How are you mistaken for someone else? Yeah, what are the odds, right? Just go around a corner and turn to something else. Well, yeah, but... Hello. I looked a little different, and we can you not take he off adjusted. The... Also, I would prefer not to. Also, on the... Ainge Che 
when there's red talons and a robot around who don't know about that kind of stuff. Is that another language? It's gonna wave. <laughs> at the robot? No, no, I'm waving over at the red talons. Oh, yeah, the Pearl red talons. Pearl would go up to Sprocket and be like, Hi, I'm Pearl. Hi, I'm Sprocket. Hello. He's got four arms, too. Affirmative. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Correct. <laughs> hmm. I hate this. He has facial expressions. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. The, uh, is it just the smile, or is it the, uh... <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, well, you know, that's something. I don't think Sprocket likes me. You're right over there. You, uh, you like hanging out with these two? No. Oh! oh. <laughs> he, he, I do not hang. He, he tries to prevent us from causing chaos. That is correct. Sprocket is a little chaos adverse. I do not like chaos. Right. Well, we'll just have to make sure to not do that then. Uh, anyways, um, why don't we go over here so I can talk to you two personally, just the four of us, and Schmel, you can come too. Uh, yes. Schmel's pretty, uh, Schmel's mm -hmm. a little bit out of it. He's nope, whoa. I'm he is. so, I'm so sober What right happened now. to you? Uh, I struck out. Pearl's gonna pull out her ointment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Pearl, I need, like, a glass of water. <laughs> he is at least drunk, if not a little poisoned. Poison? What? Yeah. A little poison. What the fuck? We were gone for like, I don't know, two, four hours? Oh, well, I mean, it was fine. I got put in a crate and it was fine. He was in a uh, shipping container yeah. with a horse lawyer. Yeah. yeah we, <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I have? His business card. He has a fax machine. If we ever need a lawyer, if we... If we ever need a lawyer. If we ever get into trouble, sorry, Sprocky, we won't get into trouble. Uh, uh, so, how did your little talk go? We, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> we found out useful information about the thing we're doing, right? What are we doing again? Oh, fucking hell. Okay, um. You know what? You sit out, right? Okay. You sober up. Uh huh. You Pearl, too. do you have any ginger ale? Yama might. No, Yama's on, on another planet right now. She's on, uh, yeah. Is the we, whole ship not somewhere we, here? Or? We left Yama back at the base. Well, just because Yama handles the drinks and stuff, but like, is Maybe there anything Yama on our ship? Maybe some in the fridge. <laughs> Sprocket. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're, you're a bartender. Do you have any uh, <laughs> ginger ale for uh, Schmel over here? He does have brewer's tools built into his body. <laughs> I don't know if that means he has ginger ale, but you know. <laughs> He's got one of those, um, um, <laughs> the, like soda, like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, just the, the hand folds back. Yeah. There's a fountain soda <laughs> gun, yeah. <laughs> just blast it right into his mouth. He absolutely does. That's like, that's not even a joke. He totally does. Let's see, let's see if he has ginger ale. This, I love that Fresh this is how I'm spending my time right now. Um, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? This is, starts waterboarding Schmel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and now, now they're tussling, and they're tussling away from you guys. So. Right. So Great. He Good. seems like an interesting character. No idea where you got him. So, uh, so okay. Um, we figured some things out. Uh, so we went underwater, and we found the railway system that takes us into the prison itself. So we know how to use that to get in and out. We found the rail car. It's apparently charging underwater, which means we can't just access it from there. But within the next... I'm going to look at my... My clock. I don't know what time it is or how well, much time we have. You said four have. hours, so eight hours. Sure. Yeah. So there was. It was a twelve-hour cycle, and then it was eight-hour charge. Yeah. Yes, we got. It. Yeah. Yeah. Four we hours. got eight hours. Right. So um, right. So in eight hours, mm -hmm. uh, that car is going to head over to the prison, pick up a bunch of guards, and then bring them back over to here. And if we've been following the rail, right? Can we see like where it would come up on the beach? Ooh. Ooh, roll me a uh, perception or an investigation, whichever one you are, feel like you are more actively Oops. doing. Uh, that is 19. 15. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you look around, um, you, whoever, somebody, one of you, starts to like oh, yeah. sweep the, sweep the uh, uh, sand away with your feet, and you uncover a part of a, a part of a disc. Yep, that's it. It's going to be here. 
It's going to have a car full of Zelarian guards that are going to get off. And, and then possibly the prisoners. Also possibly prisoners. Probably not. They don't usually take them out. We don't know for sure. But, you know, we never know. Um, then there's going to be a shift change. A set of new guards are going to come in, and we're going to um, find a way on, and we're going to kill them all. And then we're going to take their auras, and then it's smooth sailing. So, <laughs> one, I'm glad you had Schmel sit over there instead of hearing you talk about killing guards. Because <laughs> he's, he's guard lately okay. been okay. conscience of our group. Okay. These are Zalarian guards, which means they're inherently much worse. All right. Uh, second of all, um, so the shift from the prison leaves. Right. And then they come here and they pick up the new people. Mm -hmm. Right. They swap. And then they take them back. So during the time that they're traveling the shuttle back and forth, does it have to stop and charge for eight hours on the way back? Do I know that? No, yes, it does no, not. It does not. All right. No. no so, but anyways, during the time of that, there's fewer people at the prison. Right. Oh, all right. But these Solarians for a galactic empire are really, really bad at logistics and scheduling. Well, I assume there's a lot of guards, to uh, be fair. Well, and presumably people don't try and do things like this. Yeah, also, but I'm just saying, right. from a logistics standpoint, it would be better to pick everybody up here, take them there, then they weren't leaving a gap in coverage. If it's only every four days, they're probably really eager to get out of there. Yeah. All right, so anyway, we're, uh, so, okay, so we have, uh, so we just wait around here until a bunch of Zalarian guards show up, then we kind of... Yeah, and they're going them. to leave, a bunch of new ones are going to get on, and then we're going to find our way on. Well, are they going to be, like, waiting here at the platform for the thing to dock? Probably. So, so we might be able to pick them up first, is what you're saying? Before the other mm -hmm. group of guards shows up. And then yeah. we can uh, get their smart. auras beforehand. Right. That makes sense. I think that's a good idea. Great. Good. All right. I'm, I should we maybe... have a foolproof plan, nothing can possibly go wrong. Right, well, I mean, it, it's, it's currently daytime, right? <laughs> sure. So it's going to be nighttime when the shift change happens? Yeah, yeah, right. well, I mean, it's gonna I be think dark. the, the no cover of night is part It'll of be the shift fine. change. I think it's pretty much foolproof. Uh, maybe I should spend the next few hours making some sort of device, like a gas bomb or something, so we can just knock them all out easy or something. There you go, we'll that'd be a lot better than killing everybody. I was going to suggest poison gas, but I mean, sure, sure, we could use something else. <laughs> it's fine. All right, is that our plan? Yeah. I think so. Yep. Okay, so we talk about our plan, and how, do we inform the Red Talons of our plan? What's the, yeah, what's the I moving mean, forward? Right. How, many, so how many people fit on that shuttle that you guys saw? 12, right? Mm -hmm. Max of 12. Max of 12. I can only copy five auras. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be a max of five. And don't forget, you suggested to the Red Talons that they take a submarine right. tour to get to the drop-off chute. Right, but we have to have a way of A, contacting them, and B, opening up the drop chute. Well, I'm sure you can open a drop chute. I don't really have any doubt that I can do it. It's more of the getting to it part. Because, well, you know, we have to work That's what we do. We get places. We are better than most, surprisingly. It doesn't say a lot about the rest of the universe. <laughs> Um, okay, so you deliver whatever information you need to deliver uh, to the Red Talons, and that is where we're going to end today's session um, with the anticipation of putting the plan in action the next game. Nothing can possibly go wrong Nothing with this plan. Nothing can nope. possibly go wrong <laughs> Prison with Breaks plan. always go smoothly. Yeah, I Prison know this by watching movies. Always They're just always like, amazing. Today yeah. went so smoothly. Today went... <laughs> Amazing, actually. No um, one got arrested, no one and got I true, consider that a win. True. If so. any of you have seen Guardians of the Galaxy, it's going to be like that prison break. It's a total nightmare. <laughs> I need that guy's leg. <laughs> exactly. Okay, you have seen it. Well, Cyrus has got a removable leg, so we can put that in the plan. I need that guy's leg! That's where I'm going to end this shenanigans for now. Thank you for watching Health Hits Experience. Thank you for joining us on this stream. If you're new here, hello. Welcome. Hey. We've got a lot of social media that you can follow us on. Join our Discord so you can chat in the Discord. Don't forget, you're getting audience points this time around. Anytime you chat in the Twitch stream, and you can redeem those for fun things. Uh, today's adventure brought to you by myself and Colorado Brown. Music and sound effects provided by Sirenscape uh, with the help of Liz. Thank you, Liz. Thank Yay. you to Molly Cook, Alex Gilmo Gonzalez, and Mariana Allen in the control room today. Special thanks to Community Access Media for the use of their facilities and equipment. And until next time, we will see you all. Goodbye. <laughs>